Are you thinking about what it would be like to become a professional programmer? No? Well, too bad, because I'm going to blow your freaking mind. First of all, here are the qualifications to become a professional programmer. In this case, these are for Microsoft. So you'll need over one year of programming experience. A bachelor of science degree in computer science, strong customer focus, multitasking skills, and experience of C++, C Sharp, Java, HTML, and CSS. Now that we've gotten past the qualifications, now we can talk about the day in the life of a professional programmer. When a programmer arrives at work, usually the first thing they do is speak with the product manager and discuss design, structure, and the user interface of the product. Then they go to their computer and start programming with coding languages such as C++, C Sharp, Java, and more. Once the programming is done, you need to test it and look for errors. When an error is found, you need to find and fix the error in your code. Then you're done. Alright, so now we are on to the demonstration, and this demonstration is supposed to demonstrate on what would happen when you finish the code, and then what would happen when you find and fix an error. So what we're going to do here first is put a button over here and a label over here. Now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to put lbl1.text equals con... Congrats, because you successfully uh, clicked the button. And uh, when we uh, click start here, it's not going to actually let us start. So as you can see, it says there is some build errors. Would you like to run the last successful build? We don't even have a successful build at all, so we're just going to click no. And uh, so when we uh, go ahead and look for the error, we can see that the error is over here. And well, that error was caused because we don't have any quotation marks over here. So now that we have our quotation marks here, when we click start, it's gonna actually work. And when we click the button, it changes this text over to congrats. So basically that was pretty much a very, very basic demonstration on what would happen when you finish a code and then fix it. And obviously when you're a professional programmer, there's gonna be a lot more bugs and it's gonna be a lot harder, but this is just, the the very basic of it. Now that we know what the job is like, what is the salary range of a programmer? Well, the salary range is from about $44,000 to $130,000, and the average is about $81,000. But how much you make really depends on how skilled you are as a programmer. As we reach the end of the video, this is something I want you to know. As technology grows and expands, the need for professional programmers get higher. So if you are interested in this field of work, it's a really good opportunity. And one last thing I want you to know is to never stop talking in the middle of a sentence.